Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So, um, <laughs> I'm cold, <laughs> it's fine though. Uh, so, two new rescue ace cards and whoo, where I was wrong with this deck. Well, I mean, you know, the, the first, what is it, one or two ways we've had in the DCG and for now, as we saw in the OCG, I saw a deck list a um, couple of like, like half a day ago. I, I believe it was a first place deck list in the, um, you know, OCG, you know, locals level. Uh, but uh, it's very similar to this one. I made some small tweaks, like adding in some very, very small Tyrion package. But outside of that, well, outside of, you know, Maxi and Impermanence, it's basically card for card. The list I got from the OCG. So, uh, two new cards for a Rescue Ace, and they are fantastic. It's superb support. And I guess, you know, with like the first wave, waves, I guess it's just a matter of time that this deck will pop off, no? It has like one of the best boss monsters in the game. Um, you know, it's something that uh, it's not that hard to get on the field. Turbulence, right? As you know, Turbulence can set, what is it, up to four spells and traps from your deck to the field. Of course, rescue eight spells and traps, right? But together with the level one, you can immediately activate those at least once time, or at least once during, you know, that turn. Um, plus, you know, they, they have like um, an impermanence, an in-themed impermanence, a monster effect negation, or they have a, a popper, you know, a, a Rageki break alike card that, that's always searchable and their field spell, you know, uh, recovers stuff from the graveyard, plus gives you a draw. Very similar to two, uh, what is it, true Draco, is it Heritage? That gives you, you know, sends back three to draw one. Here it's four to draw one, plus the field spell gives you an extra normal summon, and it's searchable. Because it's a rescue ace card and it's searchable by uh, the level 4. And speaking of the level 4, uh, or level 4s, is that most of them are like Stratos. Like the level 1 is a Stratos, the level 4 lifter is a spell searcher, Stratos for spells, while the other level 4, forgot this name, is a, a trap searcher. So again, superb. So the two new cards. The first one is a level 8, which basically is a Book of Moon. You know, during your opponent's turn, put the monster face down. You need to control another rescue ace monster on your side of the field to use that Book of Moon effect. So, okay, that's cool. That's good. You can get it on field uh, very similar to uh, tur Turbulence, but Turbulence needs two monsters or, you know, two rescue ace cards to be banished, while this new one, your level 8, only needs... Is it Disturbance? You know what I mean, the new one uh, only needs one. So that's quite convenient, simply because its last effect of the level 8 is that when it's sent to the graveyard, let's say from the field, you can uh, special summon one of your banished rescue ace monsters. And that's again fantastic for potential link play, synchro play. Well, synchro, okay, it could be there, but uh, potential rank 4 exceed plays. And that's where the, the small Therion package could come into play. Like, the biggest weakness of this deck, it doesn't change. Uh, is evenly matched, you know, evenly matched, lightning storm, you, you, even though you're, you know, searching multiple potential negations, disruptions, you know, with the monster board as well, there is nothing that could prevent evenly matched or lightning storm, so that's why I guess you could go for Solemn Judgment, uh, the Therion package is there, there's, you know, I, I guess one replay for that, uh, because it's a newer addition for the deck, uh, at least for me here, but um, it, it, the thing is, is that uh, rank 4, you know, for the Springens Exceed and then, you know, Exceed for the rank 8 to search um, Regulus, it's not that common for the deck. The option is there. There are some plays to, you know, get you uh, through or towards your uh, double level 4. But again, as I mentioned before, uh, it's, I'm not so sure if you really want to commit into like a rank 4 simply because the Book of Moon, the new boss, one of the new bosses, again needs that other rescue ace on field. So you need to open already really solid in order to go for a rank 4 exceed, search Regulus, maybe you could more, you could at least go heavier on a Therion package, uh, that's definitely, you know, up to you. I mean, it's something to explore, the Therion package you know, something for evenly matched and stuff like that. So going first, going second, going first, you know, the level 1 Stratos, the Monster Searcher, right, which also cannot be targeted if you have, like, other Rescue Ace card or monsters, for example. Uh, the level 4 here on the left, I guess, doesn't really do anything. It's basically a Mascarina target. But again, I have multiple interruptions. Double Book of Eclipse, that works, because, again, that prevents, um, you know, Mascarina from uh, using her effect. Try to use the spell that... I, what, what was it? Reborn something? I think I wanted to get the level 1 on field. I think so. So use Emergency, that's one of the new ones, it's basically a hero lifts, and it's a quick play, plus you can, after that, after you special summon, you know, hero lifts one of your rescue ace from the deck, like Turbulence for example, <laughs> insane, 
you um, have to, what is it, tribute, run, rescue ace monster either on field or graveyard. So again, fantastic to dodge, failure or imper. So that's really cool. Uh, Extinguish is, uh, was it one of the newer ones? I'm not so sure. No, it's it's uh, not extinguished, but reinforced. That's one of the newer ones, I think. Um, it's okay-ish. It protects your one of your bosses against like monster effects. Plus, it gives you an extra attack boost. It's very similar to the um, the fire fist trap. Tencent? Is it Tencent? I think it's Tencent. Anyway, so again another draw. Oh, Hydrant. This is perfect. Again, use its effect to try to search uh, something. Use um, turbulence to again reset for. Ah, oh, it, it, again, it's just a matter of time that this deck will pop off. Is it with this support? It might be. Uh, we saw that it, you know it's doing okay -ish in the OCG, even though it's you know super early form over there. The, the, you know the set, I believe it dropped. I, I think it was past weekend, so you know super new. But there is potential simply because their boss sets for every turn. Plus, you know, with the new two new supports, the hero lives and the you know the big boss, the smaller boss, I guess. You know, the level eight one. Uh, there is there is a lot of place. It it makes the deck much more consistent. But their weaknesses are still there. So ending on this Karina, setting four, a couple of disruptions, having a lot of field spell, this wasn't the correct play, you know, because of evenly matched, always should have kept uh, the field spell in hand. It's fine though, it is what it is. So reborn the level one. This makes it so that, you know, as you know, the traps, the, it's either the Rakeki break one, the popper, or the impermanence one also gain beneficial effects. So here I think I wanted to try to activate the impermanence, which Carrot negates, uh, but I use level 3, what is it, Im, Im... Ah, the level 3 one, it's basically a lone fire blossom that also works from your hand, so you know, tribute it to special summon and rescue ace from the deck, so again, that's cool. The problem is, is though, is, is that it, during your opponent's turn, when they go first, it's, I don't feel it's too useful. Sure, you can search all the stratuses, the spell searcher or the trap searcher, but it's not a disruption, so who knows, they might get more support to actually disrupt something while the level 8 is, you know, needs another name on field, so, you know, you can't drop that first turn. So again, search for insane. Having Appaloosa on field, you know, for potential Ash or whatever, uh, drop Phoenix, again, I wasn't, uh, you know, I mean, you could use its effect, but uh, I don't think it was needed. Uh, go for Merrymaker, you know, go for Sargas, Detach, and here, I guess... Even though, you know, this game state did it really need the Therion uh, setup, yeah, maybe. Uh, oh, the thing here is, it, but correct me if I'm wrong, you know, as for example, the traps get that beneficial effect that if you control that uh, level 1 on field, I also think it works when the level 1 is attached to a Regulus, right? Because you have that name on the field, but again, correct me if I'm wrong. So I guess this is something to explore on, simply because the deck is running a couple of machines, so, I guess a Therion package could make sense. And simply, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. Anyway, going second. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so going second with this deck, it's not too different compared to some of the other um, lower tier decks. I mean, lower tier. It's uh, as in not full Sprite, not full Kashtera, right? You know what I mean. Uh, you know, we're relying on stuff like Thrust. It, it's becoming a staple in past uh, profiles. Thrust, Dark Ruler to search from Thrust, the tactics, Triple Prosperity or Double Prosperity. You know, if you have the space, I think I dropped one. No, it, I dropped one Imperm for Regulus, yeah. But again, it's up to you, right, where you want to, you know, go for your uh, searches, etc. And choices. Use one of the spells to uh, either add something back from the grave to the hand or uh, search something, a rota, right? Search level 3, Impulse, that's the name, I think, yeah. Because again, that's basically your Lone Fire Blossom as soon as your opponent activates a monster effect on field. The BLS link is an insane. Again, you have a couple of high level monsters. Turbulence is an easy high level monster to, you know, pump out the BLS and give it some of those beneficial effects. Immediately during my opponent's turn, use the Monster Reborn to get the level 1 on field to potentially get those beneficial effects. Use Ash, prevent the mills from the spell, even though the third element is going to mill and Agido as well, mill 5. Luckily, luckily, no third element names. Then again, Foolish is there for Reino Heart. Okay, so Reino Heart triggered, but I think Reino is going... No, okay. Ah, no, no, I'm keeping the effect negation one for Kaleido Heart, I think. Uh, there it is, and that should be targeting... Okay, so yeah, the, um, discard so I can summon um, potentially the Book of Moonwall. Yep. And then use one of my traps to negate the effect. So now um, the monster cannot attack as well. So you know, this gives me some more protection. This kind of makes sense, but... 
<laughs> nope, we're not going to allow that. Simply because, as you know, like if you have that level 1 on field, your popper, what is it? If it pops a particular monster, that monster cannot activate its effects or you know from that name during the at least until the end of that turn. I believe it's something like that. So no reborn for you, so that's really, really nice. Okay, so this is the current decklist. Uh, there is potential. There is definitely potential with the new support. It's, uh, you know, it, become, it became much more consistent, but it still suffers from the same weaknesses. But again, the potential is there. You know, something to test out, to try out, judgments, a bigger theory on package, but, you know, feel free to leave suggestions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, leave him signing out. Peace.